Sounds is there. You take them, I guess. As we are now. Oh, good throw into the box. Can Bangladesh finish it? Yes, they can. Bangladesh. In fact, the flag goes up and the goal cancelled. Bangladesh players look in disbelief, but. And did you look uh, what the Bangladeshis are complaining about? They are saying it came off the head of a Maldives player. Absolutely, and Dilan Pereira looks like he's going to go and confer with the linesman. And unfortunately, the linesman or the referees do not have VAR in this game. But and also, that touch and go, I think there isn't a clear evidence whether it took the head of uh, the Maldives defender or the player. The referee going to talk to the linesman, but regardless of whether this is given as a goal or not, Jana, I think we can clearly say that that was absolutely horrendous defending by the Maldivians. <coughs> because not just one or two players, it went through four players before the chance of a tapping came, and that's not something that should be allowed to happen. Right, Lizard Rahul, and also the timing of the jump completely wrong there. Dylan Pereira on the discussion, and it's a goal for Bangladesh, and the goal has been given. It's Bangladesh won, Maldives nil. I think right decision in the end, Jana. And it's Maldives have no one but themselves to blame because realistically, whether it came off the Maldivian players' head or not, they shouldn't have let the ball get to that position where the Bangladesh player was so easily able to tap it in. And in the 13th minute of the game, Bangladesh make it 1-0. And really, I think all the talk amongst the fans as we see the replay. Oh, I think there is a slight touch there. I think very good refereeing that by Dylan Pereira. And also for him to go and consult the box. A good corner again. Goes into the box and that's a goal for Maldives. A welcome goal there for Maldives. A great comeback here. 1-1. The scoreline stand. It was only a matter of time, Jana. And a good corner kick by Ali Ashfaq. And the Maldivian player on the far end of the goal was left all alone as you see a very large number of Maldivian fans here to support their team and they are very happy with what they've seen. The equalizing goal just past the hour mark. Yes, this is what we were talking about. The passionate fans of Maldives just turning up in numbers and Rahul, we predicted a goal and there, is, there it is for you. Absolutely. The goal scorer is the Midfielder Mohamed Umair. As we take a look at the replay, not sure what the Bangladesh defense were doing. They left their, the Maldivian player all alone up front in the far end of the goal. Sri Lanka. Oh, oh ball lost in a very dangerous position here. Bangladesh, can they score? The touch too heavy. I think he's fouled, and that's a penalty for Bangladesh. As we were talking completely against the game of play here. I thought that Bangladesh had messed up the opportunity because I thought the true ball to Jewel Rana should have come just a second or two earlier. But in the end it did come and the goalkeeper Ali Naji came off his line. At the end it was a blessing in disguise or that was a clear penalty Rafa. No, no. Uh, complaints that Absolutely. you can see he played he got to the ball first and that's an error goalkeeper me missed the ball yeah and uh, Dilan Pereira blows his whistle Topu Bahman started run up and it's 2-1 to Bangladesh totally against the uh, half play yeah uh, Bangladesh leading this game 2-1 Maldives are shell shocked here can Maldives now come back into this game can they get a goal that's a big question time is running off Bangladesh now on top as no one expected them but here they are leading in this game absolutely. and also leading in this competition absolutely absolutely brilliant penalty by Topu Bauman